Welcome back, Zerka fans, to another exhibition match. Last one for tonight, which will be North Chilean G versus Mark Eves. And on Onyx Cauldron, because this map is pretty, and also it's a bit dark, so it makes the dynamic lighting look even better, and I really want to show that off because it looks so cool. I'm just so glad it exists. Finally. I like anything that makes things look prettier, and Zero K is in dire need of that. So I'm glad that that's been added in. Anyway. So, Mark Eves going for Clickabot Factory, North Chilean G going for Hovercraft Factory. Which is interesting, because the Hovercraft Factory on this map does work pretty well. I mean, Hovercrafts can pretty much go anywhere, so yeah. I mean, it's a bit harder to get into the center little pool, but yeah, otherwise they... What the heck's going on? Well, that's weird. Anyway, yeah, Hovers can just go into this pool, no problem. So it works out really well. And Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know why that just keeps happening. <sighs> Alright, so... With that sorted out... Mark Eves looks like they're going relatively aggressive. Again, like last game, and what was that? It was North with... It was Ball of Doom that went super aggressive. But yeah, Cloaky going super aggressive, and the Daggers are going to have a bit of a hard time with this... Well, they might have a hard time with this many Glaives. If the Glaives get to the main base, that's when it's a problem. The Daggers can run away, so it's not a huge deal. Like, they can kite it and everything. But at this point... Ooh, no, never mind. I think the advantage is going to be North Chilean G. And... Yeah, that advantage is totally North Chilean G. Couple couple daggers going to go down, but the glaives are basically done. Still, information. Mark Eves knows that North Chilean G is going to hover, and hover North Chilean G knows that Mark Eves is going cloaky. So, information. Now, what will they do with that? North Chilean G apparently continuing with daggers. And, I mean, both players continue with their original strategy. Go for raiding. Don't worry about the factory matchup. Just go for raiding. Which is interesting. I'm a little bit surprised that North Chilean G is not investing into a few scalpels. But, or maybe a mace or two. Maybe they just figure it's too early in the game. Nope, go for raiding. Now, Marquis, on the other hand, I can kind of see the investment into Glaives. Especially if, okay... I guess Scalpels would be kind of problematic. Uh, scalpel versus Glaive is weird, honestly. Between overkill, protection, between overkill protection and the fact that Glaives might be able to dodge under the Scalpel shots. I'd be curious to see what happens. I just want to see Scalpels come out just to see what would happen in that case. But at this point, it looks like we're going to be seeing entirely Daggers, which is okay. And... Mark Eves cheating out an expansion to the northeast side of the map. Very sneaky. I like that. North Chilean G, on the other hand, none the wiser going for their safe natural expansion just right in their main base, right near their main base. So Mark Eves, the one thing, of course, is that if North Chilean G catches wind of this, which at this point doesn't seem likely. Nope, no radar, no knowledge, nothing. They have no idea. So at this point, Mark Eves is doing okay. North Chilean G doesn't know what's going on. So what is Marquis paying attention to anyway? Ah. Hmm. Well, not much. North Chilean G is expanding, doing okay. Oh, actually, North Chilean G just about to catch wind of it. And it... Oh, their commander is so slow. Marquis might be able to build up the Lotuses in time. I mean, it won't be enough because the daggers will just rush in through this center area here. Or rush into the north side. One Lotus will be done maybe in time. North Chilean G's commander... North Chilean G's commander has not got much. They are building Lotuses themselves, but I think they just spotted... Yeah, they did. They just spotted the Lotuses coming up. They know that Marquis went for a cheaty expansion. Marquis, however, going for a flank. Flanking out the commander. They know the commander's there. They know the commander can't do much. Actually, it can. That's not at all true. It can walk into the underwater section. But it doesn't matter. This is more than enough glazes to get rid of the commander. This is like twice as many glazes as needed. Unfortunately, they're all going to die if Marquis isn't careful. And unfortunately, Marquis was not sufficiently careful. I could see they were trying. But unfortunately, didn't quite move out quickly enough. Still got rid of North Chilean G's commander. Nice on Marquis. North Chilean G going for a counterattack. 
I mean, they lost their commander, but Marquis lost eight glaives. Actually, no, 12 glaives, something like that. It was a lot of glaives. There were a lot of glaives lost there. I think it was at least a dozen. And the counterattack working out okay, actually. This might be a suicide attack from North Chilean G, but no, no. No, it's working out just fine, and thanks to this one little area that is just barely vehicle passable over to the side. Just barely, it's really weird, but yeah, it just sort of works. North Chilean G needs to regroup. Regrouped, and are they going to go? I think they're going to go. Oh, well, they kind of got to. They haven't got much choice. And yeah, they're doing nicely. Nice micro there, getting rid of all those glaives. Not ideal. I mean, they did lose a few daggers, but still, that many glaives. Like, they're clearly trying to line... Oh, well, I don't know. Are they trying to line them up? It looks like they're trying to line them up. Unfortunately, dropped attention just at the last moment. The mace coming in, though, and that will be a problem. That mace is going to cause all sorts of problems. And Markeev's not able to get rid of it. The mace does need to be repaired, though. Cannot really assault at this point, but hey... Fair amount of damage was done. Markeev's, they had their northeast expansion revealed. They had their north, well, their main base attacked heavily. Quite a bit of damage dealt, and, well, that mace, it, if one glaive gets one shot in, which it doesn't. Yeah, like one shot, 12 by 3, that's 36 damage right there. If one volley hits that mace, it is dead. Which is going to come down to Marquis not attacking single file. Like, don't point move! Line move! Line move is a thing for a reason. I keep saying this. Line move is super important. Like, line move, if those four glaives had line moved up to the mace, the mace would be dead. If those four, if those 12 glaives had line moved attacked the commander, they would have had an easier time escaping. Because they wouldn't have gotten in each other's way. And probably a lot of them would have been alive, and this entire area over here to the east would have been destroyed. And this expansion would be gone, and Marquis would have probably won by now, actually. Line move is a really important thing. I wasn't commenting on it when the daggers are doing it a lot because, or point move rather, or point moving a lot, because they were already in a line. It wasn't a big deal. They were all moving towards a parallel direction. Because I think they were trying to get the glaives lined up. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, don't point move. Line move. Always, 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 always line move. Cannot be emphasized enough. Line move. Because otherwise you just end up having your units clump up and splash damage wrecks them. The only excuse maybe is point move fighting. Like point fight move, that's okay. Only because automatic only because of the automatic skirmishing. Like basically because of fight move behavior. That's the only reason why you can kinda get away with it. Kinda. But yeah, that no. I don't get why Marquise is not line moving. They're watching the stream too, so if they're watching, please let me know. Why are you not line moving? That's a huge deal that lost you a bunch of units earlier. And lost you a bunch of units later as well. Like, North Chilean G's dagger micro was actually okay, but... Yeah, this is not working out. I still don't totally agree with Hovercraft on this map, though. I mean, it makes sense in terms of the flatness and in terms of this one area over the center... But Hovercraft is just kind of weird. Like, I don't agree so much with the Mass Dagger. That's tricky to use. I could see, like, Mass Halberd and Scalpel. That's the typical thing to do. Against Cloakie, it's a bit iffy. But given that Marquis is just point-moving everywhere, Scalpels would do fine. There wouldn't have a problem. But, yeah, Marquis at this point... Are we seeing... No, no additional factories. Marquis is 33 metal per second. It's... Almost nine minutes into the game, and no additional factories, no air or anything. Where the heck are they going? Okay, they're... What does Marquise do? Did they... I, I feel like Marquise has had their control screwed up. I don't know. It just seems weird. Actually, wow, Halberds did pretty well there. Good to know. So Halberds do fairly well against a bunch of Glaives, even when they're not in whole fire, although they really should be. There's pretty much no reason not to be in whole fire in this game. Well, for Halvards. And North Chilean G deciding, well, they haven't got enough territory. Throws in the towel. Bit of an anticlimax, but yeah, after losing the commander, and that was a big blow. Really, it was just the only difference was those glaives could have survived and then gone south and won the game a few games, a few 
a few minutes ago. It would have been six minutes win. But yeah, line move, line move, line move, line move. That's a, such a huge deal. The game is designed around it. I realize fight move does allow for auto skirmishing, but if you even if you fight if you fight line, then your units are in a decent position to begin with. And when they start auto skirming, they don't have to get away from each other in the first place. They're already apart from each other, so they don't have to worry about running in each other's way. Anyway. That is going to be it for me tonight. So, thanks for watching, and a couple small things before I go. I... I'm actually going to make this a separate video, although I kind of wish I had a better... Yeah, I can do that.